Bayti. Okay. What what what? This is the Arabic. Uh huh. So if he says it was a house of prostitution, a house of filthy, okay. Uh huh. Look at what he says there. And okay. Sanctify. Okay. Sanctify. Okay, my house. Okay. 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 What Tahir? Where is what Tahir? Where? For God's sake, you know, go and learn Arabic. Do you know how many mistakes you, you made in one verse in Quran? Do you know? Do you have an idea? First, you said Bawana. What is Bawana le Ibrahim? Which means Ibrahim became a pimp. In the Quran, it doesn't say Bawana. It says Bawana. Listen to yourself. If Bawana illa Did you hear it? You said what is Bawana, which means you, you, are, you are saying that. That Ibrahim, Ibrahim became a pimp. This is his, his business for a living. For God's sake, don't speak a language you don't know. What else? Continue reading. Ibrahima ma kana al bayti illa tushrika. Ma kana al bayti? Ma kana al bayti? Tushrik. Wait, wait, wait. Ma kana al bayti? Is that right? It is ma kana ma kana al bayti? Do you want to play your voice again? It is ma kana al bayti. Ma kana which means never exist. Totally different word. Man, bring your daddy. Continue. Do not associate, do not make shirk, sharik. Okay? This is the Arabic. Uh -huh. So, if he says it was a house of prostitution, a house of filthy, okay? Look at what it says there. And sanctify. Okay. Sanctify. Okay, okay. my house. Okay. 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 I will call it okay video. Tahir. You know what Tahir means? It is Watahir, not Watahir. Okay. God help me. BT with the Yad Nian. It means my house. Allah SWT says my house. Okay. Okay. Do you know what that means? I know what that means. Okay. Okay, sanctify. So if if whatever you claim that the house is dirty in Abraham, exactly. Abraham came to clean it. Thank you very much. By the command of his Lord. So we proved our point that the house was exist before Abraham. As you see from his mouth because he said Abraham he came to clean it if it was not there there's no need to clean something is not there it's number one it was exist before Abraham number two it was dirty because if it's not dirty there's no need to clean it what else you mention other surah surah 2 verse 127 upon your request you know, I said in my video, nowhere in the Quran it says that Abraham, he is the one, he built the Kaaba. You are giving me verses saying he built a house. A house for sex? A house for what? And actually you say that this house exists before, before he exists, not the Kaaba. It's not the Kaaba. Let us read together. This is the verse you asked me for, right? 2.127. I didn't choose it. It's your it's your choice, and you will pay from your choice. This is Al-Qurtubi explanation, and they are saying the following. Ibn Abbas he said, the God he put the house or build the house before the whole universe exists, two thousand years before that, and after that Allah he made the earth. Read it. This is Al-Qurtubi, not me saying that. And he's saying he built those bases and one bases is a one woman. So it's the house base in women. The philosophy of sex. What else? Let me show you more. This is this is Surah twenty two verse number twenty six. The one we are reading together from. Open Al Qurtubi and read with me. Let us see where this house is exist. It says, this is your prophet saying. It says, where, do you remember where we started this house? And we built this house? He's saying, قال, الله البيت مع آدم. This house was created by Adam, not by Abraham. You Muslim says that Abraham is the one who built the house and even you gave me a, a Quran saying that 
Still, it doesn't say the Kaaba, by the way. I insist nowhere in the Quran it says that Abraham, he built the Kaaba. It says he built a house. Let us see what house is that. He's saying that this house will build from the beginning. When Adam, he came down to the earth, he came down in India and he built a house there. And Adam, he was his head in the sky and his foot in the ground imagine how tall he is and the malaika he says the, the malaika used to even to be scared from him because he was 60 arms tall this is in the same page you are reading from and this is al qurtubi do you see it at tabari sorry so this house is in india I am very clear in what I said. So this house cannot be the house of the Kaaba or the Kaaba because the Kaaba is not in India. Is it? Like what happened? The Mecca used to be in India and India moved? You know, immigration, things happened. Yeah. And let me show you that this house is very filthy, wherever this house is. And here he's not talking about the house, he's talking about Al Masjid, which means the Kaaba. This one is talking about Al Kaaba, supposedly. He's saying in here, this is Surah 7, verse, one thir uh, verse 31. In the explanation of At Tabari, do you see it? Not my explanation. That Arab people used to go and walk around the Kaaba totally naked. Do you see it? So the question, if the Kaaba is not the house of the prostitution, why people are walking naked? Give me a reason. Which, what kind of religion? The religion is people to worship, they have to walk around that house naked. It's a bathroom house. People go inside and do bang bang. Otherwise, you tell me, why people used to do like what what the religion there the, name the religion for me which used to practice naked nude worshiping and what the reason why people take off their clothes women and men without a shame and i showed you a reference that one of the followers of your prophet said we did exactly what the prophet allowed us to do and even our penis used to drop sperm when we go around the kaaba and this is al-qurt al-tabari -Tab -Al in the front of your eyes, Surah 7, verse 31. Where is the answer? Next time, get me your daddy to give me an answer. Get me somebody, at least he can read one verse in the Quran correctly. And the funny, before I finish, that Muslims, they say, Abraham, he is going to clean the Kaaba, when he himself, according to Quran, he was an idol worshipper and he was filthy. This is Surah 6, verse number 75. You will see that he worshipped the star. Actually, not a star. The translation in the Quran is, it says a star, but in Arabic it is kawkab. Kawkab. You know? But Muslims, they have to say star because we will see that the, the, the kawkab is, is acting as a star in different verse. But this is not the topic. So, he saw the star. He said, this is my Lord. You see it? This is Abraham. He himself is an idol worshipper. And he never been a believer. According to the Quran, he's filthy. So how you say he was a prophet and he is the one who worship idols? The God of Islam, he said, I forgive not those who do worship someone with me, who associate gods with me. I forgive not. Did he forgive Abraham? Any sin will be forgiven, but not this one. And then he saw the moon. He worshipped the moon. He loved the moon. This is my Lord. This Abraham is very funny. Anything big, he will love him. This is Islam. You know, like Muslims, they say to you, Allah Akbar, Akbar mean bigger. So Abraham, he's one of them, according to them. He saw first the star, star is small. Huh? He like him. This is my Lord. Then he saw something bigger. Oh, the moon is bigger. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The moon bigger. Allah, the moon Akbar, the moon Akbar. Then he saw the sun. He go crazy. Man, the sun is wonderful. It's the biggest, shiny and powerful. Son is Akbar, son is Akbar. Then he jumped at the end to Allahu Akbar. So from star is Akbar, to moon is Akbar, to sun is Akbar, 
to Allah is Akbar. If if uh, if Abraham exists now, maybe he will worship the biggest flat screen in the in the market, because it's about bigger and size. Thank you all. Kaaba never never been exist as a house of God. It's a house of a prostitution, and we prove that from the from the books of Muslims. Islam is false. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Thank you.